Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here with a review of my Smith & Wesson 39-2. Um, I got this gun about a month a month or so ago, and uh, it's I'd say one of my cooler pistols in my collection. Um, it's definitely a very classic looking gun. So the Smith & Wesson 39 originated in the 1950s when the military was looking for a new pistol. Um, they were looking for something with double action, single action because after World War II, they decided that they really liked the Walther P38. And with the 1911, they only had single action. Um, they wanted something that was double action and single action with a decocker. And so with that, the Smith & Wesson 39 was born. Of course, it was not accepted by the military, um, but law enforcement and the civilian market definitely took a liking to it. And of course, it evolved into the 59 and the, you know, the second and third generations of that gun. Um, and this gun, you know, the 39 also has several generations. So it did evolve over time and of course um, sparked a lot of other gun companies to make similar guns like you know the uh, the Ruger P series is also a very similar uh, gun but it was made many many years later but it all originated with this gun and of course this gun originated or, or came from some of the older uh, Walther designs but this is a single stack nine millimeter eight rounds later versions of this gun um, were offered in nine rounds but you know single stack um, double action single action so you have um, obviously it's unloaded <clears throat> so every subsequent shot after the first round is of course single action and of course you have your decocker right here and it is also a safety but it is not ambidextrous like the later versions of this gun it's only on the one side right there um the other thing is it has a magazine safety magazine disconnect has some pretty basic sights. Um, I don't think they're adjustable for elevation, but they are adjustable for windage. And they're just kind of interesting looking sights. Um, has some nice wood grips. Has a pretty nice trigger. The double action, I didn't really, I don't think I've shot too many rounds double action, but the single action trigger is pretty nice. Um, did have a few malfunctions with this gun. I had a couple of failures to extract, which could be caused by an old worn out extractor, so I'll have to look at that. But uh, we had two failures to extract with this gun out of, I think only two magazines, but yeah. Um, it is a an aluminum frame with this blued steel slide. So it is a, a nice looking gun. This one is a little bit beat up. I did, you know, the place I bought this from had four of them and this was the most beat up, which was good because it was the cheapest price. Cause this wasn't a cheap gun. It was like $800 total. So not a cheap gun at all. Um, it is pretty simple to take down. Um, you just pull the slide back to where this notch meets the slide release lever. Push the lever out, pull the slide off, make sure you have the magazine out. And then you have a barrel bushing, much like a 1911, only it rotates to 45 degrees instead of 90 degrees to take it out. And then of course you have your your um, recoil spring and, up, and the barrel comes out the back instead of out the front. Um, so it is kind of like a 1911, but it's also kind of like a Walther P38. Um, it's just a different kind of animal, um, kind of a, a combination of those two guns, I guess. But uh, yeah, really nice looking gun, really fun gun to shoot. I do love these old Smith & Wesson pistols. I do have a couple of uh, third generation you know, 5904, 5906. I might do a comparison between those guns and this gun. Um, I don't have any second generations or even first generations of the 59. 
Um, so it's just these three guns for now, but um, they're still similar enough to where I could compare them. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say about this gun. I'll probably do some more shooting videos with it in the future because this is just a really nice gun. And um, I do have some targets that I'm going to, going to set up sometime this year. And I'd like this to be one of the first guns I try those targets out with. So we'll get to that in a couple of months. But anyway, that's a Smith & Wesson 39-2. I should mention that the 39, and I'm not really sure what the difference is between the 39 and the 39-2, but the 39, just, just the regular 39, was only made for a little bit, and then they came out with a 39-2, so they improved something on it. But, you know, I don't think there's any, like, 39-3, 39-4. I think it just went from the 39-2 into the second generation, which was, like, the 439, the 639, um, which is a little bit different gun than this. And then from there, it went to the 3904, 3906, 3913, 3914, those guns. But anyway, that's all I have to say about that. So subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.